Morning guys, welcome to today's vlog. Uh, today we're just going to explore Dover. We were going to go to the castle today, but we're going to go another day because it's absolutely throwing it down, as you can see. So, we're just having to uh, deal with just doing an explore. So that's what we're going to do today. So hopefully the weather clears up later, but this is what we've got to work with for now. So we've arrived at where we're going to have an explore and go to the cafe for something to eat and there's a ferry coming in right in Dover Port ferry just arriving in the uh, National Trust yeah. cafe now um, with the view of the ferries and we're having a nice cup of tea and uh, Mum and Rod are having lattes um, so let me show you this view real quick uh, there's, in fact there's a ferry just coming in now if you guys can see that there's another ferry just arriving they're coming and going all the time aren't they so uh, these ferries go to France and then there's an Irish one over there. We go to Belgium and all. Uh, and Belgium. Oh. Those ferries to get to France, they take uh, about an hour or so. An hour. Um, and in a little bit, once we've had our drinks, we're going to go for have a walk further up and look at the uh, cliffs properly. Uh, but for now, nice hot drink. I, know. I hope you guys also like the slow motion I did of me pouring my tea. Um, that was on my phone that I did, so I want to do try and experiment with a few more of those. I might be able to get some interesting effects out of them. Which route are we going on? The purple one. The purple one, okay. Let's go on the purple route then. It's very, very windy. What are they doing? Don't fall off the edge. If the cliff decides to give way now, we're all screwed. Which is interesting. Uh, scanning a flower on her phone because she has a f flower scanner. She tells you which flowers they are. On the edge of the cliff. If you look in all the puddles here, you can see all the chalk. Holy crap, that's, that's the edge right there. My god, we're right next to the edge. And there's the view of the cliffs of Dover. All this what we're walking on right now is literally just chalk and clay. And it's very, very slippery. There is the edge right there. If I get blown off too much, I'm going over. This surface is very, very soft, very slippy, because it's chalk and clay. This is actually quite scary. Hey Rod, what? I'm surprised Mum's not got the heebie-jeebies yet. I know. I'm very surprised. She's doing very well. 
at least we have this protective barrier of grass and flowers in case one of us does slip uh, but yes those rocks look very loose so we're in all heaps of danger here if something were to go wrong but you know living life on the edge isn't it and I'm in the worst possible shoes to be doing this I forgot to put my walking boots on so not got much grip either having a drone here would be great I'm just gonna wait for mum and rod um, but I don't think you can fly here because I saw a sign saying no drones and the wind is horrible so it wouldn't be a good idea anyway but a nice drone shot of these cliffs would be very nice for this vlog. Woo! We made it to the top! Yay! The cliff didn't give way, none of us fell off the edge. I think we did pretty well. Well, this is our mark to say that we've made it. I need to wipe my lens now because it's very hazy from the rain. I am basically soaked all the way through now. Um, the wind's calmed down a bit, but that's because we're sheltered between these hedges. Um, so, and I think this path leads us back to the uh, to the car park. Look at that view, guys. I'll try and zoom in a bit because it is a bit hazy on the lens from the rain shame about that. Well, they said they'd have a call, wouldn't they? Yeah, a good one. Good view. Oh yeah, look at this. Look at that view! Oh yeah! Yeah! Hey, dead rabbit! Okay, we are back to the safety of the car park. My hair is absolutely soaked through. Uh, we're all soaked through everything. Uh, but we're not next to a cliff edge that could potentially kill us, so we're back to the safety of the car park. Woo! That walk was a very exhilarating experience. 10 out of 10 would do again, but not in this weather because uh, that didn't help the situation at all. So guys, the rain has just come down, started coming down harder and harder, and we finally made it to the safety of the car. Next we are going out for something to eat and we're going to try and find a nice pub. Um, Pops found his own. Oh dear. <laughs> uh, but uh, we're going to go find a nice pub, um, have a drive around, see what we can find. Um, and then uh, food calls for us. Okay, we've arrived at the pub. Mmm, what to choose. What to choose, what to choose. Yeah, I'm gonna have a mixed grill thing. Where is it? Because I can't decide it. what I want. Okay, so we just scrammed a mixed grill. Um, I did. And what did you two have? The ribs. Uh, Rod and Mom had the ribs. Um, and now we're about to order pudding. Uh, we're just deciding what we want. I might go for the chocolate eclair cake. Um, I'm not sure. I thought that might have had an attraction <laughs> for you, Alex. This is chocolate crony. Um, chocolate crony. What are you two going to go for? Apple pie. Oh, really apple pie. Oh, really or really pie. What, what about you, Rod? Just the ice cream. Just the ice cream. Fair enough. Well, I, I'm going to go for the chocolate eclair cake, uh, which is chocolate sponge laid with crunchy chocolate bill on it, vanilla mousse. Surrounded by, with dairy cream, chocolate, dairy Eclair. cream filled chocolate eclairs topped with rich chocolate fudge sauce, sauce. and served with cream. Ooh. Lovely. Alex. So, definitely gonna have that. Um, I'll actually remember to film the food when it comes this time because I forgot last time. Oopsie. <laughs> Uh, I was too interested in my food, I forgot <coughs> everything to do with my camera that it was there, so 
uh, I'm going to film it this time. Uh, but it's going to be difficult for me remember to again, remember again because I'll be so interested in my chocolate eclair cake. I think uh, our puddings will be a nice treat after our near-death near experience on the sure, cliffs right. of Dover Definitely. today. Um, with 50 mile an hour winds that were just getting worse. That's um, It looks outside now though that the weather seems to have calmed down. Like the rain him? seems to have gone away now? and mm. it looks, the wind and outside looks pretty calm. Uh, still looks like a little bit windy but it's better than it was inches. when we were there. It's typical that or the weather goes better when you leave somewhere that you were having fun at or doing something. So yeah, that's typical. But yes, the uh, mixed grill was very nice. Um, the steak was well cooked and the chicken was very well cooked. Um, the, ha the gammon was a bit salty, but oh well, um, whatever. Uh, Rod had that. Uh, he likes salty gammon, so um, I just give it to him. But yeah, overall it was really nice, my mixed grill was. My chocolate eclair cake's just come. Show us yours, Rod. God's ice cream and mum's apple pie so we're both so we're all going to be scranning on our puddings now oh, that was a good let me do a quick good job. Yeah, taste test yeah, well. then put this in the pants for me because <laughs> it's warm <laughs> this is the bomb so guys we've just eaten now We've just left the pub and we're going to go back home now. So, just demisting now, uh, but uh, that chocolate eclair was really nice. Uh, did you two enjoy your puddings? Thank you very much, Alex. Very nice. Uh, I enjoyed it, it's really nice. There's fudge cake with it, cream, ice cream, everything a lot. Um, so yeah, really t 10 out of 10. So uh, we're going to head back home now and relax for the rest of the evening after our traumatic walk today.